Guys, it is likely that I will be selling this FJ62 that is in my garage. If you know anyone that is interested or you are interested in yourself in a well cared for FJ62 with about 300,000 Ks on the clock, tell them to message me. Anyway, enjoy the video. Welcome to the new project. This is a, uh, a bit of a crazy story. So um, I'm gonna cover the story of how I got this car, a bunch of questions, and then talk about what happened on TikTok because it's a pretty cool experience. So um, start with the story. I, um, for those keen eyed would have seen in my garage was a dual cab 79 series well body. Um, I was, I was actually planning to import these and sell them and it didn't really work out that way. So I thought to myself, oh, what I'll do, I'll um, try and find myself an old, try and find myself an old beat up 60 series and we'll do it up and we'll chop it, be some great content. So I was sort of looking, I wasn't seriously looking and I knew I didn't really have the money, um, but uh, talking to a friend at work, he said, oh, my old man's got this 60, which is the green one, if you didn't see it. So, we, so there was a bit of back and forth about what the deal with, with it was and how bad a condition it was. Um, eventually, I went and had a look at it and look, all things were going well to actually buy it. So it was rough and it's a bit of footage here for you. Truth be told, I was a bit it was a bit too rough. It would have been a lot of work to save it. A lot of work, especially in the body. The body was rusted, the chassis was rusted. Um, and it was a 2F variant. So it wasn't the engine I was after either, but you know, it was it was free. So second, I sort of came to terms with, yeah, all right, look, that's probably gonna be the best option I've got. We'll get it, we'll just chop it straight away. Get rid of the rubbish, put the tub on it. It'll be good content, you know. And, and like, I want to build another car. It's not just about feeding the content machine monster, whatever it's called. So I've been driving to work every day and I see this house with uh, three Land Cruisers in the driveway or, you know, in the front yard. And I thought, far out. I mean, I wonder, you know, I'll just go and chat to him and see what happens. And so, mustered up the courage, went over, knocked on his door and you know you guys saw the whole tick stock story so i said you know i'm jay i did da, 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 da. then we went and looked at cars and originally i was looking at one of the three f's there um it was just a normal g wagon it's ex pretty much the exact same as the blue 60 i have and you know uh, it was rough it wasn't as rough as the other one but it was it was a 3f and he said he could get it running so you know it was it was okay because i was like oh look i don't know um all the while this this one assuming I think it's a Sahara, is sitting at the back. And I thought, well, let's go and have a look at this one. And look, this one was just too good a deal to pass up. Now, the prices that were spoken about on the video are not 100% accurate. Um, and I'm not going to disclose the prices out of respect, but the price was not what we spoke about online. Um, basically, the car was initially sold without the seats. Now I'll get to why the seats are important and I'll get to the whole, we're gonna do a walk around at the end of the video anyway. So we we shake hands on the car as is, no seats and no engine, obviously no running gear in this. Um, and then I went and saw him the next day, put a deposit down and we spoke about the seats and he said, look, it's a lot of effort for me to get them out. I've got to try and get some other ones to put in. And I was like, yeah, cool, look, whatever. I said, look, maybe maybe I'll make you a good offer for the seats. And lo and behold, I made a good offer for the seats and we got them. Um, so that was like the whole crazy ride. And then in the midst of all this, uploading the video onto TikTok, 
and getting it's now at 1.3 million views i think 13,000 followers which is just incredible and if anyone has come across from tiktok hey man thanks so much for being here like because this is cool this what you're doing now watching this this is where it's at you know um so that's just been an absolute wild experience and there's been a ton of questions between youtube instagram and tiktok so we're going to cover off a few of them right now and then we're going to take you through a nice walk around of the car and show you why this car is so special because it is a special car so what is this car exactly it is a uh, i believe it's a 1985 it's a fj62 sahara japanese import now the japanese import part is important because what you're going to see on the inside is pretty spectacular i've never seen this in another car in australia i'm sure there are some um but this does not seem to be a common trim option so i'm pretty excited to show you guys <laughs> I, got, I got a lot of hate for uh not shaking his hand on the spot and <laughs> there were some funny comments um basically the timeline was stretched or manipulated to to a respect the time i didn't want to post it without being committed to it and having the car in my hands so um basically i called him about an hour later and said yeah i'm gonna take this one and then i met him there the next morning put a deposit down so the the time frame yeah right, i didn't rock up with a thousand bucks in each pocket like some schmuck said but like this was literally spontaneous i i could i did not plan this i was on my lunch break driving to another job and i was like bugger it i'm just gonna do this you know so what are the plans to do with this car quickly um i think look originally i wanted to put the 3f in it because it was an fj62 i wanted it to be a cruiser um and you know be something fun but I've driven a cruiser before, like a Petty, and I love it. I love my 60. Um, it's not the same. I want a diesel. Um, there's going to be two stages to this build. The first stage is just going to be getting this thing on the road with most likely a 2H engine in it. And the reason is I'm going to try and do Tassie in August before my baby comes because I'm having a baby. Yay! Um, then after that, if I've got the money, we're going to slowly really turn this into a cool car, a Sunday driver with a classic Toyota engine in it, um, something like that. So yeah, let's do a walk around. And you guys, if you have any other questions, you can put them in the comments, but this, this car is cool, man. So let's have a look. The, the potty work is just immaculate for what this car is. It is so clean, except for... And, I do a bit of creative filming. The sunroof. Sunroof is in bad condition. I don't even know if it works because um, well, we'll go to here next. <coughs> yeah, empty. Um, like I said, it had a 3F in it. Um, doesn't have much more. I don't know if I'll be able to plug the terminals in. Maybe try and get some some lights on the dash but we'll we'll see uh windscreen great condition um the original trims are still on it which is wild um bit of rust there's a bit of rust up here but look we're just gonna grind all this out clean it all up body filler it for now just for now just for now obviously a bit of bad stuff down there a bit of bad stuff down there if you've been with me from the start, you know, I have a hateful relationship with these windows. And then this is the doozy. So, I'm not worried about this because I've done it before. Did it on my last car and I'll do it again on this one. So, <sighs> I don't know how bad it is, but yeah. So, look, all in all, this body is in immaculate condition. And yes, it's on body lifts, body lifts. 50 mil body lifts. Oh, and extended shackles. All right. Can you see me? Uh, you ready for the big reveal?
So this trim is, I mean, I've never seen this trim before. Look at this thing, man. Look at this. Center console's in there. It's pretty immaculate. Sorry, it's pretty amazing. It's definitely not immaculate. Um, see above. So we're gonna try and get that out. So these seats are the same. They're all pretty sad and beaten up, but God, I'm so excited. And then it actually had seven seats in the back and it's got the aircon stuff and the, all the other parts to finish it off down here. They're all in the car. And then the sunroof. Let's, uh, let's hop in. There's about 10 too many spiders in here for my liking. So we have, an so we have another 60. Um, this car's awesome, man. It's cool. Um, I gotta be careful because it's, it's rolling and it's only chocked up by wheels. So we've got a ton of work to do on this car. There is no doubt about it. Um, to give you a rough story, uh, timeline, um, I go away to Europe in the end of May. I'm gone for five weeks. I come back and then we're gonna do a trip to Tassie in this. And then I'm out of action for a while. So um, the other thing is that I'm probably gonna be selling the other 60. So if anyone is looking for a well looked after 60 series, uh, time to message me. So anyway, that is it. So thanks uh, so much for signing up for what this second 60 series project is gonna be because this one was still the best project I ever did and the, still the best decision I've ever made was to start this channel and do this car because this car is fucking awesome. It's so reliable. It's so much fun to drive. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys when we uh, start working on the car. See you soon.